Okay, to start off everything, we start with the fish. Without the fish, we don't have the fertilizer. And without the fertilizer, the plants don't grow. Now these were grown from feeder uh, goldfish. They're about three years old now, the big ones. The little bitty goldfish that you see in the water are what size the feeders are when you first get them. Those little specks of gold, that's, what they, that's the size when you first get them. Okay. The pump is down in the water. It comes up. It goes in. This box is keeping all the light out of the uh, five gallon jug. You take the bottom off of the five gallon jug. The water comes in there, circles around, and then it has to go down and back up before it goes out the hole in the center. Because of that, all the heavy stuff drops out, like the fish poo, which you can put on your potted plants and make them real happy. But that keeps the light out so there's no algae growth. Now this is, if you'll note, the cucumbers are coming up and something ate those cucumbers. Look at that. What happened? I got a cucumber worm. I hope they don't get these little babies. Won't have to plant some more seeds. Something ate those down there, so I'll plant more seeds. But I'm planting another bunch of cucumbers to come up to replace the ones that are dying because this is my shade. The cucumbers are the shade for the fish. Over here I have the first setup that I did which is another stock tank. That was a stock tank, a 110 stock tank bought from Harbor Freight. Uh, these are five gallon buckets. It's what you call the... Uh, it's basically the, 40, the 90 degree angle that you see coming out right here. There's also one inside. Okay, and inside there's you probably can't tell, but this is a paint strainer, five-gallon bucket paint strainer that's down in there. And you can see it more on that bucket over there. Anyway, this is a double. You get two of these and put them together. This is to keep it from collapsing at the bottom. That's all the filter's for. Um, after all the water goes through it and all the muck builds up, then it collapses sometimes. All of them have the filter at the bottom. And that is strictly to put the seeds in. If you'll notice, that's where the cucumbers are growing from. Here's this bunch up here. And they just grow right out of the coconut husk material. Now on the outside, we have the, what they call the Dutch buckets. And you can see the... Now inside a Dutch bucket, you put... And that's got a little bit of stuff on it, but this is uh, perlite. And that's all you put in there. And that's what all the plants are growing in, in perlite. That's all they have in there. Okay, so all this is growing right out of the things in the middle, and that is cleaning the water for the fish. There are small fish in there to keep the uh, mosquitoes down. This is a, you can probably figure out what it is. A willow tree stuck down in a pipe. I meant to show you that. So I'll come around here. 
it's stuck in this pipe with an aerator aerating the water with some uh, mint and then there's the Venus flytrap so anyway this is from inside this is the pumps that I use they are this is just a heat sink I added because that one seemed to get a little hot it's an oddball one um, what I've done is run all the intakes to the big filter right there so that they won't get clogged up that's what the pipes are for but those are my uh, professional air pumps you have to get the good ones not the ones at Walmart the camera right here is hooked up inside it has infrared so I can see the fish feeding at night when I feed them that way I can tell if they're eating or not the tomatoes are right here in the water now the way this works is the water comes out here goes down goes along there all the way to the strawberries so we'll start at the strawberries it comes in here and you'll notice these are on cinder blocks so it's up high short strawberries and this happens to be a watermelon plant and you can probably tell why I call it a watermelon plant but anyway I have some strawberries in there the watermelon plant is coming out of <clears throat> this right here and yeah that's all it is is this little what is this doing in there <laughs> this little block of uh, stuff where I started it here's another one that's all they're coming out of the roots go down into the rocks and absorb all the uh, stuff they need this is chocolate mint I got banana uh, banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, another tomato plant, uh, cantaloupes, and watermelons this is a, a willow tree I've got the start of a grapevine that I'm going to move these the willow tree and the grapevine will be moved eventually now the water comes down through the pipe over and up and you notice I've got an air thing on that one I'm going to replace that with a T eventually and come up with another pipe due to the fact that it has a, it needs an air brake. In other words, it, the, it kind of locks up sometimes. Same thing on this one over here. Uh, anyway, the water comes through, comes into there. This is for the fish food. The, the goldfish like this. You'll see it is called duckweed. Then there's tomatoes here. You can see the water coming in right there, a little movement. I think you can see it on the video. It comes across and comes over, goes into a sump tank down in there. It's a five gallon bucket buried. Then it comes out of a, it's got an electric pump, not an air lift pump. That's what those were, it was air lift. That comes up here, goes to the tomatoes at the top, goes all the way to the end, goes down that little pipe, comes back across and into the fish tank right there. Then the other pipe comes up, and you get around here, and comes out right here by the strawberry plant. Comes down and feeds the cucumbers more cucumbers the cucumbers that got eaten by something I want to find out what the hell that is anyway that is the whole system now to explain an air lift pump I've got one sitting right here taken apart now uh, here we go you put the pipe all the way through you cut off the little thing that stops it and push it all the way through 
don't know how to explain it any better than that. This is one piece of pipe. This is one whole solid piece of pipe. It's not cut and put patched together. So the bottom of it is cut jaggedly to let stuff in but try to keep the fish out. Now you can make smaller holes or whatever. Drill holes in it to keep the fish out, whatever you want to do. That sits on the ground. You'll note that this only goes about halfway down. The air goes in to here. None of this stuff is glued. You can, in fact, none of these pipes are glued. You can um, usually seal them up by just tapping them together. Anyway, the air goes in this chamber and around this pipe comes down and goes bloop and shoots the water 